Little girl from Fort Worth is home from the hospital today. This is more than two years after the start of a legal battle to keep her alive. You may remember the name, Tinsley Lewis. She faced being removed from life support back in 2019. Well, Tinsley is now three years old, and she's home with her mother and her sister. Here's Jason Allen. With a big toothy grin in these pictures from February, baby Tinsley is no longer a baby and no longer in the hospital, the only place she had known as home for most of her life. 880 days ago, she would have died. Now she's at home with her family. Texas Right to Life and Protect Texas Fragile Kids worked with Tinsley's mother to keep Cook Children's Medical System from ending life support. Born with extensive heart and lung conditions, doctors concluded she was suffering and should be allowed to die naturally. But her mother challenged a Texas law letting hospitals make that decision after giving families a 10-day notice. These are not medical decisions necessarily. They're value judgments on whether someone else's life is worth living. That we believe that should be decided with both parties, not one party having all of the power in Texas law. While the court battles rolled on, Tinsley received procedures that enabled her to be moved to a portable ventilator and out of the ICU. In a statement, Cook Children said the medical teams at Cook Children have dedicated their lives to healing children and go to tireless lengths to do what they believe in their hearts and minds to be the very best decision for each and every patient. Tinsley still has complex medical needs, but advocates believe the outcome is significant for parents who were battling to have a say in medical decisions for their children. Even with Tinsley now home, the lawsuit in her case is still active, and it could stay that way as opponents of Texas 10-day rule continue to push to have it rewritten or overturned. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.